In this video, we are going to find the exact value of tangent square pi over 4 plus 2 cosine 8 pi over 3 minus sine 13 pi over 4. So to find the exact value of this trigonometric function, let us convert the given radian to degree. And let us use the reference angle to find the exact value of the given trigonometric function. To start with pi over 4 to convert to degrees, let us multiply it by 180 degrees over pi. Let us cancel pi. And let's have 180 degrees over 4. 180 divided by 4, that is 45 degrees. Then, let us have 8 pi over 3. So let us multiply by 180 degrees over pi. Let us cancel pi. And we are going to have 8 times 180 degrees over 3. 180 degrees divided by 3, that is 60. 60 times 8, that is 480 degrees. Then, we have 13 pi over 4. Let us convert to degrees by multiplying 180 degrees over pi. Let us cancel pi. And let's have 13 times 180 degrees over 4. 180 degrees divided by 4, that is 45. 45 times 13, that is 585 degrees. Then, let us substitute this one to the given trigonometric function. Let us have tangent square. 45 degrees plus 2 cosine 8 pi over 3 is same as 480 degrees minus sine 13 pi over 4 that is 585 degrees. So let us simplify. Tangent 45 that is 1. And then we have a square that is 1 square plus 2 and then 480 degrees is greater than 360 degrees so let us subtract 360 to find the reference angle 480 minus 360 that is 120 degrees and the reference angle of 120 degrees is 180 degrees minus 120 that is 60 degrees and cosine 60 in quadrant 2, that is negative 1 half. So cosine 480 degrees is negative 1 half. Minus sine 585, so let us write 585. And then let us subtract by 360 degrees because it is greater than 360. 585 minus 360, that is 225 degrees. And 225 degrees is located in quadrant 3. The reference angle in quadrant 3, that is 225 degrees minus 180 degrees. So that is 45 degrees. Sine 45 degrees in quadrant 3, that is negative square root of 2 over 2. So let us simplify. Let us have 1 square, that is 1, plus, let us cancel 2, let's have negative 1, negative times negative, that is positive, square root of 2, over 2. So 1 minus 1, that is 0. Therefore, our final answer is square root of 2, over 2. So this will be the exact value of the given trigonometric function.